This is hands down the weirdest insect I've ever filmed. Believe it or not, this thing is a fly. Like a fly as in an insect in the same group as your standard house fly or fruit fly. But this fly doesn't have wings and it barely even has a recognizable head. The weirdest thing about it is where it lives and where I found it. I collected it off a bat. It's an ectoparasite of bats, commonly called a bat fly. I had assumed bat flies were only found in the tropics, but when I realized we had them here in North Carolina, they immediately went to the top of my list of bugs I needed to see. Luckily, one of my colleagues here is a bat expert, and my best chance of seeing them was going out in the field with her. So let me introduce you to Lisa and her work. I am the Mammal Collection Manager here at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. My job is to maintain and provide care for our research collection of mammals. Our collection currently has about 25,000 specimens and those include scientific study skins, skeletal material, and tissues. In these cases, actually this four um, set of four cases, it has all of the species of bats that are found in the southeastern United States. Besides maintaining this mammal research collection, part of my job entails going out into the field and monitoring and tagging bats in the state and in the southeast. So we chose this particular site to put our nets because we have the branches over the road. And what we hope to do is close off this funnel where bats would be flying down the road under the tree limbs. and. Um, they can see the net, they can detect it uh, with echolocation, but we are successful in catching them because they're not looking for the nets because they use this road all the time. This is one of their normal routes. Every 10 minutes throughout the night, we'll come check the nets. Any bats that are in them, we'll extract, take them back to our little table and work them up. We'll give them a band with a unique number on it. Um, and then subsequent years, when we come here and net again, we might catch some of these banded bats. It's how we know about longevity in bats is by recapturing and find out that they were banded 30 years prior. We know that bats live very long time because of the banding practice. So it's real useful information for us. We hope that we might find um, a bat or so with bat flies on them. We have found them here actually last year, so we're hoping that maybe um, we can relieve a bat of an ectoparasite. So we did find a couple bat flies, and I had assumed they'd be dug down in the bat's fur, kind of latched in like a tick. That was totally wrong. So here's what it looked like on a bat in the field. The arrow was pointing one out. What we saw was they were in constant motion and nearly impossible to film. And here it is again. This one's going to crawl into the bat's ear and up and around its head. So you see how fast they are. To see how they were moving, I had to bring one back here and film it up close and in slow motion. Everything you're about to see now was filmed at 600 frames per second. So what you're seeing is about 20 times slower than real life. So the first odd thing about them is the way they walk. They use the standard tripod insect gait, but each step starts with a high kick, throwing the front legs up as high as they'll go. Their legs and their body are specialized for clinging to the fur of a bat's body. And looking up close at the end of their legs at their tarsal claws, it's pretty cool how you can see them retract and fold up when the fly goes to take a step. Now the head of the fly is this structure. It's between the front legs and held straight up over the body. The fly uses it to take blood meals from the bat it lives on. Looking at it up close, you can see how most recognizable fly head structures are dramatically reduced. One bit of anatomy that's recognizable as being fly-like are these, the halteers. I was surprised to learn that bat flies even had these because on more normal looking flies like this one, Halteers are these, the hind wings that have evolved into flapping gyroscopes, beating along with every wing beat and helping the fly orient during flight. With the bat fly, if you look right here, you can see the blurred motion of the halteers being rapidly flapped up and down. 
The fact that they still have functional flapping halteers, but have completely lost their front wings and their ability to fly is incredible to me. Here's a shot where the halteers can be seen flapping while the fly is walking and then remain in motion here when it comes to a stop. Another weird behavior I filmed was this. When I breathed, they're slightly blue on the flies. They responded by doing this, stretching their front legs high into the air. It reminded me of a behavior that ticks do called questing, where they hang out on grass leaves with their front legs outstretched, ready to grab a hold of whoever walks by. Maybe the bat flies were doing this as a general response to sensing mammal breath. They were probably hoping I was a bat they could climb back onto. So there are nearly 300 species of bat flies, and there's a bunch more interesting things about them. But for now, that's what I could capture. Thanks for watching.